This one is a little confusing, and James, I've been looking at the law and trying to break it all down and the nuances, and from everything that we know and that I'm reading, the first-degree murder is the intentional or knowingly killing, as Michael just alluded to. The second-degree murder is when you kill without lawful justification, without lawful justification, and these are the statutes as written in the state of Missouri, second-degree murder, and then also as lessers, you have the possibility of the involuntary manslaughter, first-degree involuntary manslaughter, second degree. You see the jury determined, based on the evidence and very long deliberations, murder in the second degree. So my question for you is, do you think, James, that, that the jury could find murder in the second degree, which is killing without lawful justification, whether they decided <clears throat> if she or Michael pulled the trigger? Well, absolutely. They they did so here, right? We don't completely know 100% who pulled the trigger, and there's reasonable doubt, perhaps, whether she did or not. But she was clearly so involved in the entire course of action where she confronted her husband with an individual who, um, and and they had and they had a gun with them, and her husband ends up dead. So in this instance, in order to get the second degree murder, you have to prove that she was culpable in causing that death, and she was so tied up in the action actions that led to his death, the jury wasn't going to let her go free, especially with all the inconsistencies and lies in her testimony, even though there was no, you know, video direct evidence of what actually happened on that day. So, you know, we could we could debate whether the jury got it right or wrong, but at least they found some semblance of justice in convicting Ms. Rennick for this heinous crime.